Let's take a close mathematical look at why airstrike works. With the extension arm fully extended and the vaulter moving upward onto tiptoes, let's place a 14-foot, 6-inch long pole in the vaulter's grip hand. Now let's introduce the force created by the principle of gravity which will immediately cause the pole tip to fall to the ground. While on tiptoes, with the grounded pole tip centered in front of the vaulter and the extension arm in peak position, the extension vertex point is measured from the ground following a vertical line upward that intersects the center line of the vaulting pole within the vaulter's grip hand position. A triangle is formed when the pole tip is connected via the ground line to the base of the vertical line from the extension vertex. When the pole tip is resting, centered on the ground, in front of the vaulter gripping the pole at a fixed grip height with a properly placed extension arm, the length of the pole side of the triangle remains constant. And only the other two sides of the triangle can vary in their length. Whenever the lengths of these two sides vary, the point at which they intersect each other is always a 90 degree angle while the remaining angles that are the inside angles at each end of the line of the triangle created by the pole are variable. Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared gives us the ability to calculate the distance between the bottom of the extension vertex line horizontally to the grounded tip of the pole. With side B, our extension vertex height at 8 feet, and side C, our pole intersect point at 14 feet, the length of the ground line will be 11.4892 feet. Thus, A is rounded to 11 feet 6 inches in this example. If the vaulter raises the extension vertex by jumping 24 inches off the ground, the length of side B will increase to 10 feet, causing a 1 foot 8 inch decrease to side A, now reduced to a length of 9 feet 10 inches. The 8 inch drop to the bottom of the slideway must now also be factored in. This will put the vaulter another 8 inches higher relative to the pole tip strike point as side B now becomes 10.667 feet in length, which further reduces side A to 9 feet 1 inch. Regardless if the pole is fiberglass, metal, bamboo, carbon fiber, etc., greater angles between sides A and C at strike produce superior outcomes. The easier it is for the vaulter to raise the vaulting pole past vertical towards the center of the landing surface area profoundly increases the odds of succeeding at higher vaults with safer landings.